and welcome to the webisode, Mr. Wilson Teaches One Point Perspective. To begin the One Point Perspective bedroom, you have to start with a cross. And this is best done with the large metal ruler. And remember, you want to draw very lightly because you're going to be erasing quite a bit of this. And you're going to start with the X so you can find the center. And it's very important that you do this correctly so you can find the correct center for the vanishing point. And I usually put a dot little, little dot there just to remind me that that is the vanishing point. And you also need to use your ruler and measure three inch increments all around the side. So it's going to go from three to six to nine. So three, six, and nine. And hopefully your paper is nine inches across on each side. And you can note that I'm starting right on zero, not the edge of the ruler. And you want to make sure that you're measuring correctly or the walls are going to be off in your room when you're finished. And when you get your three through six, you're going to connect across and lightly draw on the line. I'm going to do this to each set. And if you do this correctly, you should get a pattern that looks like this. And this is where your eraser is going to come in handy. So we're going to be erasing about 50% of the lines we just made. So I'm starting by taking out the bottom, top, and side parallel lines, so my horizontal, my vertical lines. And I'm also going to take the center X out of the equation and leave just my vanishing point. And I'm going to go over these a little darker just so you can see them a little better. What we just created was the back wall. So this is the back of the bedroom. We created the two sides. So what I just drew in is the floor. And this will give me the sides of the walls and the ceilings. So it should look like a room that's receding in space. You can see it starts to fall back. And I'll show you one that's partially been colored. So you can see that the back wall is that square we just did, the floor lines and the roof line. Here's another example as well. So it's very simple to start the setup. Um, to do the door, what I typically tell students to do is start by just tracing their ruler because then you're guaranteed to get those parallel lines are both going the same direction. And I draw across the whole side of the wall and then using my vanishing point, I can decide where I want my door to end. So if I want it that tall, I'd make a line there. If I want it this tall, I would shift my vanishing point line down and it's really up to you what you want your door to look like. I'm just going to do it about what an average size door would look like. And to do a window it's more or less the same thing. So you start by tracing your ruler and of course you can change the size of this. I just stick with the ruler size to start. And you're going to close off the top and close off the bottom. And if you want to turn it into a sliding window sometimes I throw a line in the center there. And that way my window can open up. And then you're going to erase all the extra. So there's your side door and your window. And what's fun about this too is you can change where these go as long as you understand the way the perspective works. So if I wanted my door to be over there, then I would have left that line and I would keep my window on this side. Or you could do two doors or two windows. Um, for this floor, there's a couple different styles you can do. So you saw that I have a tiled floor. Um, you can do carpets, you can do wood floor. It's really up to you what you want to do with them, um, but more or less they work all in the same way. I'm going to start by showing you the start to both the wood floor and the tile floor. So I'm just making marks at each of my millimeter lines. And for all of these, you're going to hold the vanishing point, connect the dots, make a line. Connect the dots, make a line. Connect the dots, make a line connect the dots and make a line. And I'm repeating this because I want it to be drilled in your head that every time you connect the dots, you're guaranteed to get a line that's going to be in perspective. And then for the tiled floor, all you have to do is start by making your parallel lines that are going to keep going down. If you want wood floor, you can throw in a couple random ones. So I guess mine's going to be a little mix. 
And then usually I put the two nails in there to show that it's actual wood coming together. Um, things like the ceiling tiles work in a very similar fashion. So you're going to make the dot, make your lines going up. So everything's coming from that one vanishing point. And then if you want tiles that overlap each other, make lines, skip every other one, skip every other one, and skip every other one. That's going to make it look like the ceiling tiles that recede back into space. You can also add furniture. You can collage in your own pictures. If you want to add things like door frames, or some people like to put doggy doors and windows on their actual door. So go to the vanishing point. So you can add tons of stuff on here. It's really limitless in what you can do. Usually after I finish all the perspective, I treat the back wall. And what's easy about the back wall is this is all in two dimensions. So there's nothing on here that really needs to be done in perspective. So let's say I want my flat screen TV to be back here. So I'm just going to trace my ruler, close it off, and put a little frame in there. And of course you'd spend quite a bit more time if you want to make this look perfect. So let's say that's my TV, it's plugged in right there. And you can also draw things like couches, you can add beds, it's really limitless. I guess it depends on what you want your room to look like. And after you're done doing this part is when you decide what you're going to have cut out. So typically I say one thing should be cut out. Um, if you're going to collage into every single window, every single door, that's fine too, the TV. So on this one you can see I started the collaging. So in the background there I put a skateboarder. See I even treated the window and added a little light. Um, this door I'm still going to put something in. You can also collage right on top of it. So there's a, a woman sleeping on the floor, or lounging I guess. And this is two of the backgrounds that I collaged in. You can also add different things on the wall, different paneling. So it's up to you, but remember, everything has to go back to this one point perspective. So this one vanishing point dictates where everything is going to be coming from. As long as you remember that, your room will be in the perfect perspective.